Okay, so I'm in my web browser here, and I'm just going to hp.com, and it's going to take me to a landing page that looks like this. I'm going to go down to support, and I'm going to go here for download drivers. I'll type in my product here. I've got an M451DN printer. I'll click on go here, and it found one match. LaserJet Pro 400 color printer M451DN. We'll click on that. Give it a moment to load. And still waiting for this to load. Wow, the HP site is really slow right now. There we go. There we go. So now we're here in English. And we're going to scroll down here. We're going to ignore the HP feedback survey. That's great that they want feedback. In this case here, I'm running Windows 7 64 bit. But you can see all the driver options here. All the way back to Windows XP. There's also a Unix option, Windows Vista, Windows Server. Windows 8.1, Windows 8, Windows 7. We'll go with the Windows 7 64-bit because that's what I'm running. And in this case here, we've got a couple options here. Uh, let's see, what do we want? We will go with, I want as lightweight of an option as possible. Let's look at the driver option versus the universal driver. I notice the firmware here. Uh, there's a firmware from July 31st, 2014. The firmware that's installed on it when I ran the uh, product report, uh, it was dated uh, July 18th, 2012. And so I think we'll go ahead and download a firmware update for the printer too. And it'll give us some installation instructions for how we can do that. On the installation instructions here, this is going to require a uh, either on a network or USB connection to the printer, which is fine because we do have a network connection. And we can do that here, so we'll download that. And save the file. Let's go back and grab the driver. I don't want physical media. I don't want ePrint software. Administrative kit. Not necessary. We'll go with, here we go. We'll go with this, it'll be 45 megabytes. save and then as this is downloading this here I don't think I'm gonna go I don't think I'm gonna show the firmware update I'll do that at a later date just so you can see how the video and the driver and the installation goes Okay, there we go, unpacking.
Yes, we'll authorize this here. Launches an HP installer. And now checking installation requirements. Following software will be installed. Click next. Review and accept the terms of, of agreement. Now we get to look at more uh, propaganda from HP about their printer. Next. All right, it looks like this is wanting it to be connected by USB. In this case here, I'm gonna click. This is not what I want. Uh, okay, I went too far here, so I want to go through and go through a wired network. And I know the IP address, 192.168.0.15. I've assigned that as a static IP on my router. We'll click Next, and now it's looking for it and connecting. Found it, right there. There we go, it's progressing. Ninety nine and a hundred. There we go. So does a default printer and print a test page. Sounds great to me. I hear the printer kicking on. And it looks like we're done. We're back here at the page here, so I can delete the uh, off there. And if I look at devices and hardware, I see the HP printer now shows up. I have my device and a nice little icon that matches the printer. So that's just a nice little touch there that it all matches and doesn't use the generic icon like some of these other printer options do. Uh, so I hope you found this useful for setting up your HP uh, LaserJet uh, M451. Uh, the 400 series, and have a great day.